guys, welcome. This is Unfinished, the only place where we get to finish and finish matters. My name is SK Gitonga. You can follow me on all social media platforms at SK Gitonga. Today, we're talking about social media lifestyles, specifically about influencers. That ranges from TikTokers, those in Instagram and Telegram, Twitter, you know. So on to our first question. Do you think this influences influence us in a positive or negative way? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Positively, they, they impact positively. I can say the around half of the percentage is positively. I mean, as some influence, yeah, bad or bad, you can do. I don't know, you can do dance, you can do it, you can do it. Our party is not going to be able to do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Ani ngome kama pige challenge, chama dance, ivo ivo. Hakuna kitu yenye mimi mwana bigi kwa ma influencers. Nge wana sema ati wana tupatia ma ideas ya kwa mwaka kwa life, nge sema enye wana tusaidia. Lakini saa, haos unajotua kwa hapo kutenza the own man. Si tuafate TikTok, tuafate IG, tuafate ma kile wa social media handles, but hakuna kitu valuable huko. Kasi entertainment, miza nika kuna kitu ngini influencers wana saidia. Majority of the influencers are doing a pretty good job, so I would say positive because a good chunk of them do a good job. Unajuna dipe na mtu nini amekuja nayo. So like mostly wengi wanafanyanga like ndio inaitwa kufanyaje? Kujinishanisha ama I'm not sure. Eh, wengi wanafanyanga ku brag. Alafu na pia ku gain income. Yeah. Okay, mimi nasemaje? Oh, oh, see, oh, see, man, see, kuna, venye, kuna wengine wabaidi wana, wanafunza gamu say stuff, lani, unakam, unakam kurealize venye, unafaa kufanya hivi kwa life yako. Lakini kuna, wele, kuna, kuna venye, man, see, wanakam na, na self-esteem mingine, man, see, sipo wa, yani, unajiona, man, see, kwa background yako, huko fiti, lakini kuna venye, unaji, unajichukudli ya kama, see, yeah, yeah. Okay, yani, unataka kujonisha nisha weni, ule msee yetu weni, ule mwona, Yani, spesi puwa bide, kuna wengine wafanya puwa na kuna wafanya zi. Kuna positive and negative. Ya. Everything ina kujanga, there is a negative side and a positive side. I think it depends with their brands, but most of them I think they do influence positively. I'm a big fan of TikTok, so there are like a thousand of them on TikTok. And I follow like so many of them, Kenyan influencers, and I think they do influence people positively. Also, as I said before, it depends with who you're following, what their brand is about. But I feel like 90% of them do positively influence people. It's easy to say that there's positivity and negativity, but positivity is zip on and negativity is zip on. But I can't take sides. The issue is... Everyone, every person, every influencer, hako na audience yake. Unaona? Kuna mtu, anangia kwa internet, ama anangia TikTok, ananda kwa sabu mchele. Moja moja tu. Na kuna msa nabambika kiwa chio, uu msa ya ki sabu mchele. Kuna mungine, hako na audience yake ya kivyaki. So kila mtu hako na audience yake. So, the issue is, it's high time you come back. What realize come back? TikTok as a platform, or any other social media platform, the platform that come back is going to go for. It's going to go for to push into the traditional media, the traditional TV stations. Like they can influence opinions. They can inform people at a faster rate than than the traditional media. So the issue is, while you come they have the privilege, or you come back the audacity to command and and an audience, they have to select their content in a way that they package it in a very benefiting, helpful to the, to the masses. So that we don't build on a, a generation number itakuwa tu ya majoka. To build on a generation number kesho itakuwa, at least uneza sema, by the way, when TikTok ilikuda hivi na hivi, ilichaji hivi na hivi mpaka hapa. Kwenye wana tu influence to worship mungu, like ao, si obviously it's positive. But kuna wale nyo wana imba, like secular songs, like wale waku bubble bubble, mimi kwangu, it's something negative. Like sasa nafunza nini generation to come. It depends on the influencer and what they're promoting or what they're influencing. If they're influencing good content, then the society will go on a good way. If they're influencing bad and any bit mbaya, they will not, society will go in the opposite direction. Influencers, they can 
positively or negatively impact to the society. Number one, it depends on the audience. So you know if I'm watching an influencer, then it depends on me and my values. There's someone there who, when they see the lifestyle they are living, there's someone who will be easily influenced and some things that they do, like you may end up even spending your fees so that you may live a lifestyle. But okay, in someone, someone who knows that there's something that they have to do so that they may once live that lifestyle, I think for some people it will be in a positive way and other things will be a negative. So the audience really depends. Yeah, positively. Everyone has brains. I think they, they impact the society positively because ando unakutanga wanaitanga wa, wa, wa market ye mwa brands wanatua kilishanga and tunonekananga kenya yani tuko yani tuko natua setu wenye uu uku wanga tu uku wanga ya au ma celebrity mm. I think this varies with different types of influences and also the type of brand that they are trying to upbring. Um, we do have influences who are always encouraging people to try out dangerous stuff, eat dangerous food. We also have inf influences that are going to teach you how to make money, how they do it themselves, you know, their daily life and stuff like that, motivational quotes. Those are the kind of influences that I think bring a positive kind of impact. On to our second question. Do you think influences lie, especially when it comes to their lives? Style. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Yeah, of course, most of them lies. Yes. If you look at the storyline, the history of uh, some of the characters of TikTok, I mean uh, TikTokers, not all of them are real situations. Eh, hey, we're going on a cloud chase. Apple Sada. Eh, we do a see for a lot. We're going on a cloud chase. Yeah. Like, yeah. kuna zile vitu wana to place to fanye, lakini wawa fanye. Wafanye. <laughs> unapata, ebede si, ebede inakwaga hivyo. Yeah. Unapata amse, kuna venye, ya, yani anataka mushi hivi, lakini, ye yeah, yeah. kwa life yake, aje experience kituka, kituka hiyo kwa life yake, ya hivyo sasa. Most. Most wa, like, naeza sema most wa anadanganya, but I'm not sure about that. But ukiangalia, ukifanya yu acheka background yao, like most about their lifestyle. Of course, it's the camera. You sh you you have to lie, but not see what. Eh? <laughs> so they are most who lie, but yeah, fake it till you make it. I wanna danganya sana, sana tena sana. Msaidi na juu, msaidi nzao kambi amenua prado kubeni ya sugar mami. Zao kambi amenua T I C I T K. Nuno pataneshi bedsita pale juja. Ibu nuna angati ote nilai. Jume hindi ni kona mwuri oflani wa wili shuwili wanajitanga ma influenza. Ansa hindi nuna kuja kumba drip kwa keje. Wenda shoot na vida. Iyo na wangatu lai kwa angu. Ya, some do. Some lie. Actually, wana tudanganya. Siku na umutu mwenye li tudanganya sijia kwa Amerika and in real sense kuku Kenya. Ya, that was a lie. Alas juni nani, I just saw kwa social media. Social media. Nikona mtu kama uyo anatudanganya like I just saw people chatting, chatting up where. A lie on two of them do lie, so yeah. Yeah, mm, a thousand percent. <laughs> they do lie. Uh, okay, I, I think they just put a very perfect image and picture out there, which is not necessarily what life is about. Uh, and they tend to like make people, um, you know, stick to this kind of a lifestyle. People want to live this way and they get to. Uh, to have like so much peer pressure and you feel like the way you're living like your ordinary life is not what you're supposed to be doing you're supposed to be living in a certain way uh, i feel that is not really okay um, just be you yes they lie influencers sometimes june mesca you place kunitango nairobi gossip club where the cause have to come as those not happen yeah sometimes they do lie yeah. they're human yeah influencers can lie if they if they want what they want or they have been paid to do so. It depends on the motivation to lie. Some, but not all. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, many people lie about their lifestyle. Because, otherwise, say you can live on camera, Lazima you apply on makeup. You can't go there, you are yourself. No, no, it's come out. So, Lazima pia, mimi kama influencer ni unyeshane nini, ni unyeshane gomba, this is the kind of life I'm living so that I can command. Like, watu wengi wanafenda kwa associate na vitu vizuri. So, kia pia pale, kama maybe haujaji shikashika, maybe haujaji gusagusa, ama maybe haujaji unyesha, 
mtu anizinge pale maybe akaposta kuna gari akaposta kuna nyumba nzuri akaposta kwa place fit akaposta menda mali fulani very luxurious area na kumbe si yeye atakwamba alikuwa amenda kufanya business ya maana maybe alikuwa anapitia tu lakini akaona era chukue snap ili so ili watu wakuona kwamba maybe unaishi life fit hiyo ndio watu wanapenda na hapo ndio watu wana followers basa vitu kwa ground different Yelea. Yes, I do think a lot of people fake their lifestyle. In fact, yo, people can lie. And I feel like it is so unnecessary because um if you're trying to be an influencer, right? We're supposed to follow what you are doing. So if we cannot trust your lifestyle, why should we trust what you're saying? If you cannot be authentic with yourself, it beats the whole thing of trying to influence people. It does not make sense. So please Can you just try don't don't try put pressure on us don't lie to us you got a you bought a car you bought a house because you want to chase clout remember the people who are following you and they're trying to know if that's authentic they want to know how you did it what are you going to tell them let's take a short break we'll be back with two more questions <laughs>